Hi there everyone. On Lockatech TV today we're going to be looking at some electronic combination locks. We'll be looking at two specific ones today. We'll be looking at the kit locks KL100 model. We'll also be looking at the low inflection model, both the dry area and the wet area. So without further ado, let's have a look. So the first one I'm showing you here is the 3780, so this is the dry area low and Fletcher code lock. I'm just going through the process of how you use the locking mechanism here. So at the moment it's currently locked, and then setting in my code again causes it to unlock and it can be unlocked in either direction. Also tapping at the top shows the battery level of the lock. The second one I have here is the 3781. This is the wet area version and the main differences between it are this one has a key cover on the front which is watertight and there is also a grommet running around the edge of the lock which keeps it watertight as well on the surface of the locker. The last one is the KL100, this is the kit locks lock and has a slightly different method of locking. It has a 4 second lockout time, so you now see me putting in the code here. So after pressing the number button, you add the code that's in currently set into the lock add a new code, re-enter it and the light will blink twice and your new code is set in your lock. As per there. With the low and Fletcher locks, I should note that there is a master key available that can be used to unlock them if the code is lost. The locks can be fitted onto any normal locker door, whether it has a double D hole or a circular hole. You can then uh, drill a hole into the locker door to fix it, then you add your cam bar and screw it in as I'm showing here. Au voila! I hope you found our uh, video informative and uh, if you'd like to like, share and subscribe our videos you can also visit us at lockertech.co.uk for all of your lockers, locker parts and furniture needs. See you later!